The city of Frankfurt is known for its tall buildings, one of only a few centres within Europe to embrace this typology. As such, it's not necessarily known for its buildings of heritage. However, that was a very different story less than a century ago. Prior to the Second World War, the city was home to the largest collection of medieval timber buildings in the country. The city found its origins as a crossing along the Main River, of which the city has developed around today. The name Frankfurt translating as the Ford of the Franks and grew as an important site within the Holy Roman Empire, hosting the election and coronation of its emperor from the mid-16th century until the empire's dissolution over 200 years later. In 1372, Frankfurt would be classified as a Reichstag or imperial free city, which would answer directly to the Holy Roman Emperor. In time, the city developed a prospering trade network and its urban form would develop to support a growing commercial industry. The medieval city has been protected by a wall and bastions common to cities in Europe of similar origin, of which were dismantled and replaced by parkland at the beginning of the 19th century and following periods of occupation of the city during the French Revolutionary Wars. Once regarded for its old town, formerly the largest timber frame old town in Europe, the city was drastically changed after a series of bombings during the Second World War. Much of the destruction of Frankfurt occurred over the course of 1944, primarily by Allied air raids, which left the city with approximately 30,000 buildings badly damaged and more than 10 million cubic metres of rubble to clean up. The city partnered with private construction companies, who had had a majority stake in, to commence the cleanup of the city from 1945, and had enforced the controversial decision to effectively confiscate the material of all rubble, and also any building with more than 70% damage, allowing the team's freedom to undertake the cleanup process. Property owners would go on to contest this arrangement, citing that they had paid for the original material and should not have to repurchase it to build again. However, the courts generally found the actions of the city favourable, noting that the clean-up costs largely outweighed the value of any material. Where other destroyed cities, including the likes of Dresden and Hamburg, now looking to redevelop much of its urban fabric with a similar heritage style, rebuilding efforts here in Frankfurt were more often to a contemporary design. However, Frankfurt has retained a showing of its history, not only through the retention of the road layout of its historical city centre and the restoration of key surviving structures, but also through careful reinterpretation as part of much later development. With the cleanup of rubble throughout the city taking more than a decade to complete, major works redeveloping some of the city's iconic pre-war buildings would be well underway within only a few years. The St Paul's Church, or Paulskirche, was one of the first major restoration projects completed following the war. With the original construction of the building completed in 1833 as the city's main evangelical church, the building would later house delegates of the Frankfurt National Assembly and would become a symbol of the democratic movement of Germany. The St Paul's Church would be the target of bombings in March 1944 and initially did not sustain major damage. However, a fire would later break out in its roof structure, which worked its way through its roof beams, before crashing into the interior, and the building would burn down. The reconstruction of St Paul's was completed for the centenary of the National Assembly in May 1948, built mostly in keeping with the original neoclassical design. The building is formed by an elliptical hall, and is finished by Doric detailing. The original conical roof of the building would be replaced by one of a lower profile, due primarily to the lack of material and skilled labour to replace the original timbered truss system. With a reduced population in the vicinity following the war, St Paul's was no longer required as a church and to this day is instead the host of exhibitions and events. Another early reconstruction project within the city was that of the nearby Goethe House, the residence of its namesake family and the notable birthplace of playwright and novelist Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Prior to World War II, the house was maintained to its original condition when remodelled in 1755, becoming a monument to the family, and following its destruction, the building would be restored once more to its original condition between 1947 and 1951, with the museum opening on site a few years later. The building is noted as a key example of restorative work of the time within the city. The Ruma is another key example of the reconstruction of Frankfurt, and perhaps the most well-known in the city. The building has served as the Town Hall of Frankfurt since the 15th century and is sited on the room of Bag Square that is a popular destination of the old town today. The original rumour was constructed on the site of the nearby cathedral, with the new building at the current location fully operational by 1407. 
The initial works included the conversion of two existing houses which had been cleared out and reconfigured and the addition of the three-pointed arches at the entryway that remain today. The primary building frontage comprises three volumes of a stepped gable design capped by a small tower with the detailing of the building subject to renovations as architectural styles had changed a trait that continued for many centuries and at the turn of the 20th century was revised to a neo-gothic style and a balcony added at the first floor. The Rumerberg Square was hit by bombing in October 1943 and again in March 1944 with the town hall hit directly four times. Whereas the surrounding timber buildings were completely lost, the stone facades of the building remained somewhat intact and immediately following the close of the war in 1945 temporary works were undertaken to secure the building. The renovation of the complex would be subject to debate with division between a faithful reinterpretation and the popular decision to instead rebuild in a cubist style of the day, of which was cheaper and more timely to construct. It would not be until the start of the 1950s that rebuilding of the complex would commence and its restoration completed in 1952. Whilst the external envelope of the Roma and its neighbouring buildings are more true to tradition, more contemporary building practices had been utilised on the structure beyond and the selection of window and roof types. Not all reconstruction works would be undertaken immediately, noting it was more critical following the war to house the population and less so to develop civic buildings and monuments. The Alta Opa is the city's opera house, originally opening in 1880, that would replace an earlier theatre building elsewhere in the city. It too was hit by bombing in 1944, with the city initially rebuilding what they could, before additional bombing that year that forced works to stop. The building would be made safe, but a growing pressure to spend funds on the city population's direct needs meant that the opera would return to its previous location elsewhere. It would not be until 1976 that reconstruction would begin at the Alta Opa, some 32 years later, with works completed in 1981. Whilst the city has since developed around the few original reconstruction projects completed in the 20th century, the old town has too seen much later change that looks to instead reinterpret its heritage. The Donnarumma project, completed in 2018, re-established a portion of the city's old town with faux heritage styling, blending traditional design values with a contemporary materiality and construction method. The project, also known as the New Frankfurt Old Town, included the redevelopment of an archaeological site and the demolition of some post-war architecture of contemporary design to provide again the original street network and a showing of the original aesthetic qualities of the pre-war buildings that existed on the site. The requirement for a design sympathetic of heritage was one of the primary pillars of the numerous urban planning and architectural competitions that would be held in the early 2000s to assess the design with winners asked to refine these characteristics before construction could commence. A total of 35 buildings were constructed over the 7,000 square metre site, with 15 of these reconstructions of original houses. The majority of these reinstated properties are situated in the central chicken market, where 8 of the 11 buildings on the square have been reinstated mostly as they were. However, the works make use of creative licensing, having to adapt historic values with new age construction and design statutes. One such item included the requirement for steep gabled roofing that affected all new buildings in the city. The area today speaks to the heritage of Frankfurt, but look a little closer and you will find the modern materials that provide the comfort and safety that we expect of our cities in the current day. Whilst ultimately the development of the Dongruma was promoted by the government, the public reception has long been divided. Many seeing in the area a gateway to remembering the city's rich past and celebrating a return to human scale development, However, others criticising the allocation of city funds to a project focused on aesthetics and likening the town to a work of fiction or fantasy. Through key restorative and interpretive works of a more traditional design, the city has been able to develop a richer identity and allowed it to embrace its pre-war history as the urban form grows ever taller around it.